yeah, moving on. Let's do a little uh, thing. We'll get as much as we, we can in today. What I wanted to do was talk about qualities of energy and um, being able to differentiate because we're talking about getting more and more comfortable with the non-stuff, more and more comfortable with the insubstantial and be able to create these discernments between one thing and another. And it's all part of one big booyah base anyway, but uh, in, in that there are, by identifying the different parts and kind of teasing them apart, we create energy, we create flow. So, uh, so being able to identify this, uh, these different things, I think helps us to create more of this chi, which then we can use to create our wei chi and uh, and all that other cool stuff. So uh, the uh, I mean, when I first started playing around with this stuff, for me, it was just more or less. Was, those are the two big distinctions that I could make with energy. It's like you know, just the when I finally was able to isolate and say, ah, okay, that's what. That's what they mean by chi. There were just more chi or less chi. And that's a great place to start. And I think that, you know, you start there to say, be able to say, oh yeah, there is something there. And I have it more now than I did then. And I have it less now than I did this other time. And be able to make that, that distinction. So that then we're starting to talk about, you know, volume or chi pressure or whatever. It's like, like the voltage in a, in a system. So once you go beyond that, the next distinction, and this was a huge uh, epiphany for me, was that, oh, yin and yang. It's like, huh, okay, there's a quality, there's an expansive quality, which is, which is yang. And there's a condensing quality, which is yin. And the two are, two sides of the same coin. And depending on which you're looking at, because every yin contains a yang, every yang contains a yin. And so there's this, this interweaving, this interrelationship between them. But you, if you bring your awareness to it and you identify you know, some aspect, you can, can say, yeah, there's yin and yang are both, but there's more yang right here than there is yin or vice versa. And then you start to be able to make these fine distinctions. And then from that, you can go any number of, of directions. And the one I'd like to talk about tonight, if we get, if we have time, will be the five elements and how to differentiate those, the qualities of those energies experientially and um i offer this as as a uh, kind of a preview of, of of coming attractions uh because it's a uh, you know some of you'll get it faster than others some of you already played around with it um but don't worry we all you all start somewhere you know and for me it's it's been a a 40 year journey, 40 plus year journey, trying to figure this stuff out. So uh, there's no rush. You get to uh, take your time and, and, and do it. But just the fact of knowing that there is a way of thinking about this stuff that the Chinese have, have found useful for thousands of years is I think, um, you know, it's, it's worth looking at and seeing if it is useful to you. And really, it always comes down to that. Is it useful? You know, it's not, is this absolutely true or not? It's like, no, is this something I can use? So let's uh, start up. And the key, to, I think, to all of this is you crank up enough energy in the system that you can notice these subtle differentiations, which if you're not, if your chi is not cranked up, you're, uh, you're not going to even notice. So let's uh, let's start with that. So this is the lesson more part of the second part of the program. Oh. I 
Okay, so feel the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, spiral down to the left, turn to the right, pick up your left heel and step out to the side. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and turn to the left. Now your weight's 50-50. You want to feel the weight spread throughout the foot, but particularly centered at the ball of the foot. And knees are unlocked. You're kind of relaxing down into it. You can spiral left and right a couple of times just to kind of release the hip joints, allow yourself to kind of sink into that, into your, your stance. You want to get sung. Reach with the crown of your head. Open the jade pillow gate, tuck in the chin. Reach with the elbows. Point with your index fingers and feel the energy. We'll notice at first as a substantial manifestation. That is your, you start to feel something in your hands, your tingling, pulsing, sense of fullness. You pay closer attention, you'll notice circulation has increased. If you were to look at your hands now, you would notice that they're considerably redder than they were 30 seconds ago. Because the chi leads the blood. So we'll feel, we'll feel that before we start to feel that insubstantial level. But once you give it some time and you invest in just bringing your awareness, feeling inside your body, you start to notice the insubstantial aspects as well. You may notice it as heat. may feel some radiance. Now point your index fingers. And just very slowly rotate your forearms, turning your palms forward. Shoulders are relaxed. You're rotating from the elbows, rotating the forearms so the palm stays forward. Take a deep breath and spread the fingers open. And exhale and relax. And slowly rotate the palms back. Rotate the palms forward, rotate the forearms. Very slowly feeling each movement. And feel in your hands. And feel the change that's occurring there. And rotate back. Feel your elbows, reach with that, reach with the wrists. 
Bring your arms forward. And continue. Expanding. Opening. And feel that sense of expansion. What we have here is, is a young energy, very expansive. Now bring your hands in, reach from the, set your elbows and bring your forearms in, rounding your arms and feel your arms compressing big ball there. Feel that compressed energy and that's yin. Reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists, open. Feel the yang chi. Reach with the crown of your head. So set your elbows. Bring your hands in. And compress. And feel your space getting smaller as you do this. Relax and feel into that. Bring your hands down. See yourself sinking into the floor, into the earth. More and more yin. Very soon. Set your elbows, reach with your wrists. Reach with your hands, point your index fingers, extend upward, reaching, feeling your energy expanding outward in all directions, radiating. Yang. Feel yourself being fed by the, the, the Yang Chi of the heavens. And relax, set the elbows, bring the hands in, sink, sink, in. Feel yourself being fed by the yin chi of the earth, consolidating, creating form. Feel under your hands, feel the chi there. But moving on to the different elements. And so we're going to use uh, some Xing Yi postures to illustrate different elements. So feel the ball of your left foot 
sink into, let the knee sink into the left quad, pick up your right heel and step forward. You wanna have it so the heels line up, so it's a narrow stance. You're stepping forward with your right foot, not too far. And then feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee spiral down to the left. Turn. Reach with the right elbow. Bring the hand down. Left hand draws down. And feel the heaviness of the arm. You also want to feel the connection there between the joints are all knitted together. There's a continuous tensegrity in the whole system. Metal energy is short, it's abrupt. It goes, picks a spot and boom, it's there. You're punching with metal. It's like you're punching and you're picking a spot and boom, there it is. It's, but even though you're picking that spot and your the body stops moving, the energy continues to penetrate, continues to move. If I'm punching through here, the energy continues to go out from there. But this is, feel that. So when we talk about metal energy, it's Kind of like the effect of say, if you drop a drop a five pound hammer on the floor, it's like, boom, it just thud. Except for it's knitted together. The five pound hammer, it's just sort of hanging out and it's dropping. This is the whole system aligns with that. So think of uh, an ax chopping through wood. That kind of force, power, abruptness. And step back, step forward with, uh, sink into your right claw, right leg, pick up your left foot, step out with that. Spiral down to the right, left arm, left elbow, reach with that, reach with the wrist, and sink into your back leg. Reach with the elbows, reach with the fingers. Notice that the arm is rounded. Feel the, the, the power of this, like chain mail. It's like very strong, tough. Continue to reach with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin. Feel the poles in opposition. Something that's characteristic of Xing Yi is you feel the hands opposing the feet. Feel the knees and the elbows in opposition. The shoulders and the hips. And you feel the right hand opposing the left, the left foot opposing the right. Everything is you create every pole in opposition creates energy and that feeds into the whole system. Step back. I think that's all we're going to get to today on that. So take a deep breath. and disappear the chi, dissolve that.
and just feel into your body.